Hi everyone, my name is Jeff. And I'm Hanny. Welcome to this month's Annie's Mailbox lesson. Today we are going to read a letter from a person named Doris. Doris gets afraid sometimes. Yep, the title of Doris's letter is When I Feel Scared. Doris feels scared sometimes. She's going to tell us about what she does to feel better when she's scared. Right. Doris tells us that she runs to her room and hides when she's scared of something. Now, I also run to my room and hide. Ah. When I'm scared, unless what I'm scared of is in my room already, then I don't usually have any idea what to do. I usually lock myself in the bathroom or something. Well, very funny. But let's try to be serious for Doris. Sometimes Doris gets really afraid. So let's show her some compassion. Okay, Jeff? I was being serious. I locked myself in the bathroom. Really? And cry on the toilet for hours. Oh, there, there. Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and Start reading from Doris's story. We'll do so after we take a short break. Now, remember, this is Annie's mailbox. So, as always, we will stop reading now and then to make some corrections to Doris's grammar. Okay, uh, that's enough talking for now. Let's go ahead, take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. When I feel scared. Dear Annie, when I feel scared, I always run to my room and hide. I often get under the covers on my bed and cry into them. After I cry for a while, I will get up and dry my tears with a tissue. Then I will call my best friend to tell her what happened. She will chat with me the whole day. After hanging up, I will listen to music and watch funny videos. Those things can make me happy. Sincerely, Doris. Explanation 1 Welcome back to this month's Annie's Mailbox Lesson. Doris is the author of this month's lesson. Her letter is titled, When I Feel Scared. 嗯, Doris, this letter's title is, When I Feel Scared, When I Feel Scared. 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 When I Feel Scared, When I Feel Doris's letter to Annie begins by saying, Dear Annie, when I feel scared, I always run to my room and hide. Again, this is something I have done myself. I go to my room, lay down, take a nap. I definitely do. Don't cry. No, 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 no way. I, I, I would never cry. No, no, no. Unless there's a monster in my bedroom and, and then I have to lock myself in the bathroom and, and then, then I cry. Jeff, stop joking around. There, are, a, uh, there uh, are no such uh, things as monsters. Uh, ah, anyway, when Doris gets scared, 
She runs to her room and hides. Yep. Anyways, let's go ahead and read on. The next line says, I often get under the covers on my bed and cry inside them. Doris, you were so close there. So close. You see, you don't cry inside quilts and blankets and covers and pillows and the like. You cry into them. The word you should have used is into and not inside. For example, I cried into my covers so that no one would hear me. 好 ，Doris 说，当她感到害怕时，她总是会跑进房间躲起来。她就说 ，I often get under the covers on my bed and cry inside them. 好，句子里面的 covers 它是指棉被。当这个意思的时候呢，惯用复数型。那么句尾的 cry inside them， 这个 them 指的就是前面提到的 covers 棉被。不过 ，inside the covers 表示在棉被这个物件里面呢，应该不会有人把自己塞进棉被内层里面哭吧？好，我们要表达把头埋进棉被里哭，应该说 cry into the covers。那如果是把头埋进枕头里面哭，则是 cry into the pillow。例如 ，She ran to her room and cried into her pillow。她冲进房间里，把头埋进枕头里哭。好，因此 Doris 应该把 inside 改成 into 才正确。So the correct sentence should read: I often get under the covers on my bed and cry into them. Okay, so first Doris gets scared. Then she runs to her room and cries into her covers. Right. Those are steps one and two of this process. And there's more. Yeah. Next, Doris says, "When I cry for a while." I will get up and dry my tears on a tissue. Well, well, there are a couple of things wrong with this sentence. So let's make the second and third corrections of the day right now. Okay, Doris. First of all, when you are crying, you are still. Crying, the tears come and come until they stop. This is the time to dry your face off, i.e., when they stop. More on that later. For example, when you're running, you're in motion. After you've stopped, you're no longer moving. 好 ，Doris 下一句写到说。When I cry for a while, I will get up and dry my tears on a tissue. 我哭一会儿之后呢，会起身用卫生纸擦干眼泪。那么 tissue 就是指面纸、卫生纸。好，这个句子出现两个错误。我们先来看第一个错误是在前半句的这个连接词 when， 它表示当什么什么时，当什么什么时候，用来表达两个动作同时发生。但是 Doris 她是哭完之后。才用卫生纸擦干眼泪，这两个动作并不是同时发生，而是有时间先后顺序的。应该改用 after 来表达在什么什么之后。好，我们来造两个例句哦。I was taking a shower when you called last night. 昨晚你打电话给我时，我正在洗澡。Amy felt relaxed after she took a hot bath. Amy 泡完澡之后呢？泡完这个热水澡之后，她觉得很放松。Okay, moving on. Now, you don't need to dry your tears while crying. I mean, you'd have to dry and dry until the tears stopped coming. So, wait until the tears have stopped flowing, and then wipe them with a tissue. With 
a tissue. With is the word here, especially if you're talking about a tissue or an absorbent towel. You could say something like, clean up the mess with a paper towel. 接着来看第二个错误是出现在后半句，他写到说 ，I will get up and dry my tears on a tissue. 我会用卫生纸擦干眼泪，眼泪确实会在卫生纸上了。不过这边的介系词不能用 on， 我们要表达使用某物来做某事。它的句型是用动词去搭配 with something， 这个介系词 with 就有使用的意思，可能像是使用某种工具啊、手段等等。例如 ，she beat the egg with a fork， 她用叉子打蛋，不是说真的去敲打那个蛋，而是去把它那个。蛋白啊，蛋蛋黄把它打散那种打蛋。好，因此呢 ，Doris 要表达用卫生纸擦眼泪，应该要说 dry my tears with a tissue。好，那么现在已经订正完句子里面两个错误，我们请 Jeff 老师帮我们念正确的句子。So the entire corrected sentence should read: After I cry for a while, I will get up and dry my tears. With a tissue. There you go. But is that it? Does Doris feel better after all of this? No. Doris needs to talk things out. She needs to talk things out. She says, "Then I will call my best friend to tell her what happened," which is a The right thing to do, but then with her next line, Doris makes a mistake. She says, "Her will chat with me the whole day," which is not right. Let's make the next correction of the day. Doris, her. Is an objective pronoun. Objective pronouns usually come at the end of a sentence. Subject, verb, object. Subjective pronouns, yeah, they're the ones that come at the beginning, usually, of sentences. The subjective. Pronoun you're looking for here, that's going to go at the beginning of your sentence is the word she. For example, he is the owner of the house. The house is not her house. Doris 哭完之后会打电话给她最好的朋友，告诉她发生了什么事。那么她就接着写到说 ，her。Will chat with me the whole day. 他会陪我聊一整天。句子里面的主词是错的哦。好，我们来看英文的基本句型：主词加动词加受词。其中这个主词是用主格，受词是用受格。好，那我们来补充一下，主格的人称代名词有 I, you, he, she, it, we, they。那么，受格人称代名词则是 me, you, him, her, it, us, them 等等。好，例如 she called me last night. 她昨晚打电话给我。那这时候，她是主词，要用主格 she。我是受词，我接受她打电话给我的动作，我们是用受格 me。好，那再补充，所有格是用来表达某人的所有物，用来表达某人所拥有的某事物。那么，所有格人称代名词则是 my, your, his, her, its, our, their. 例如 ，her hair is long. 她的头发很长。好，那这边的 her 就是当所有格喽。哎，那同学们有没有发现到 her 可以当所有格，也可以当受格？而在 Doris 的句子里面。他会陪我聊一整天。这个他是主词，要用主格，所以我们要把 her 改成 she 才正确。So the correct sentence should read: She will chat with me the whole day. There you have it. Okay, everyone. With that, it is time for a break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. Ooh. Lily.
Station 2. Welcome back, everyone. Today on Annie's Mailbox, we've been reading a letter called When I Feel Scared, written by a person named Doris. Right. Doris runs to her room and cries into her bed coverings when things scare her. Then she gets herself cleaning up and feeling better. She calls her best friend. And there's more. After hanging up on her friend, she says, I will listen to the music and watch funny videos. Huh. This should make her feel better, but uh, Doris, you, your grammar, it's, uh, it's not right. Doris, you listen to music, not the music, unless you are being really specific. The the is not necessary. For example, Let's listen to some music on the radio. This evening, they're focusing on the music of Beethoven. 好，读到信件下一句。After hanging up, I will listen to the music and watch funny videos. 挂电话之后，我会听音乐和观赏有趣的影片。那么要表达听音乐，固定的说法是 listen to music. Music 在这边是泛指所有音乐，我们不用加定冠词 the。例如 ，Listening to music makes me happy. 听音乐使我快乐。好，那如果在 music 前面加上定冠词 the， 则表示限定的音乐，像是 The music from the pub was very loud. 那间酒吧的音乐很大声。好，那么回头来看 Doris 的句子，只要把定冠词 the 拿掉，句子就正确喽。So the correct sentence should read. After hanging up, I will listen to music and watch funny videos. Yep. Then she wraps things up by saying, "Those things can make me happy." Well, she's talking about the videos and music, of course. Mm hmm. Okay, everyone. With that. This month's Annie's mailbox lesson is now finished. Don't worry, though. We'll be back next month with more. 休息一下，马上回来哦。When I feel scared, dear Annie, when I feel scared, I always run to my room and hide. I often get under the covers on my bed and cry into them. After I cry for a while, I will get up and dry my tears with a tissue. Then I will call my best friend to tell her what happened. She will chat with me the whole day. After hanging up, I will listen to music and watch funny videos. Those things can make me happy. Sincerely, Doris. Put on your seatbelt. We are going on a road trip across America on Route 66. We'll start driving in Chicago, Illinois, and end up in Santa Monica, California. That's almost 4,000 kilometers of road. Besides Illinois and California. Route 66 goes through six other states. They are Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. There are lots of stops along the way to visit attractions. Of course, we'll need to see the Grand Canyon in Arizona. I would like to visit some old caves in New Mexico too. I think we could cover around. 300 kilometers a day. That way, we will finish our journey in less than two weeks. We're lucky to have this fine spring weather. In the winter, it can snow in Illinois. In the summer, 
the dry heat of Arizona and New Mexico can be terrible. So, if you're ready, let's go. Here is more information. Entrepreneur. This successful entrepreneur is very rich. Historic. July 4th, 1776 was a historic day for the USA. Marker. The marker shows how many miles we've walked. Monumental. Her monumental work has changed science forever. Numerical. The scientist used lots of numerical information. Order. Please put these books in the correct order. Pleasant. This music is very pleasant. Pronounce. Do you know how to pronounce this word? Remain. Tom's mother remained by his side while he was sick. Souvenir. Rita brought home many souvenirs from Europe. Did you learn something new today? I hope you did. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again later. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们一分钟的单元。在这一分钟的时间里面，我们要来看四个句子，看看这些句子哪里出了问题。总共有五个错误哦。那我们要把这些这这些错误把它订正过来。同学们，您都准备好了没？一分钟计时。开始，第一句叫做 I often get under the covers on my bed and cry inside them. 我时常躲在棉被底下，把头埋埋进棉被里面。好，注意这个 them 这边指的就是 covers， 也就是那个棉被。可是你说 inside them 是说你跑进那个棉被的内层里面去哭吗？不是吧？你是说哭进这个棉被，所以我们要说 cry into them。好，第二句 When I cry for a while, I will get up and dry my tears on a tissue. 我哭了一会儿之后会起身用卫生纸擦干眼泪。这边两个错误，第一个是连接词 when， 它是表达同。时发生，可是你是哭完之后，所以你要 after 来表达在什么之后。第二个错误，用卫生纸擦干眼泪，我们要表达使用什么工具，使用什么手段，是用 with， 所以 on 要改成 with with a tissue。第三句 ，her will chat with me the whole day， 她会陪我聊一整天。注意，她是主词，所以你不能用 her， her 是受格或者所有格，我们要用主格 she。第四句 ，after hanging out， I will listen to the music and watch funny videos。挂完电话之后，我会听音乐和观赏有趣的影片。听音乐固定说法是 listen to music， 不用加的，因为是泛指。所有音乐 music， 好，结束了，太棒了。<笑>好，不管怎么样，我们已经复习完所有的这些句型，还有改完错误喽。那同学们，下次继续一起加油喽！我太开心了，我们下次见，拜拜。